friends, uh, greetings for the day. This is Neeraj Kumar Singh, and welcome to another tutorial of Unified Functional Testing. So this is the first tutorial in the series. Uh, previous tutorial, we spoke about the introduction to Unified Functional Testing, and we understood some basic concepts about what exactly UFT is all about. Now, today, uh, we'll be talking about the very first thing, understanding the basic creation of a test, and also looking at how the navigation works and so on. Like if you are the first timer to kickstart with UFT, then uh, this session plays quite a vital role to assist you with the entire process of working with unified functional testing. So quickly looking at the agenda for this tutorial, uh, this particular session here, uh, the first thing we will be talking about is how do you launch UFT? like the shortcuts, understanding the launch process, because it does involve certain steps when you start working with UFT and uh, need to take care of a few of the things at the beginning itself, and that cannot be done once you have launched the UFT already. So the, the next thing, what we have is the add-in. So during the launch of the event, that's your UFT launch, you will be asked for selecting certain add-ins in the Startup Manager. So as a part of this window, there will be several add-ins listed. Now, first of all, what do you mean by add-in here? Uh, an add-in is a set of protocols which allows you to create an environment for automation. This system basically deals with uh, creating the environment for that particular protocol. For example, you're working with Java-based applications. Then you need to make sure that you have selected Java at the beginning during the launch of the UFT. Similarly, we do have different protocols like SAP, Sybil, Citrix, Silverlight, .NET, whatever it is. So it does just make sure that you have selected the right add-ins of the particular application which you want to test using UFT. So that's a quite important thing. Then as you enter into the uh, UFT, the very first thing is understanding the start page, the welcome page. There's a beautiful thing which UFT has now created to give a quick uh, navigation and also a lot of links directly from the tool itself so you don't really have to uh, brainstorm throughout the internet and find out the right answer for a particular question so you do have a lot of inputs right behind like inside the tool so you can understand that like what exactly the options are and how it can minimize your efforts for looking up some queries on understanding the tool as well. So the navigation will be dealing with that, where I'll be making you understand about what are the options on the start page and what are the menu options and so on. As you get through that, we'll be looking into the creation of the test, like what type of test can be created in UFT and what we will be starting with and so on. So there are several types of uh, tests which can be created in uh, UFT. So we have got GUI test, API test, business process test, and business flow test, and so load test, and so on. So you can look into that when I go with the demonstration following this. And uh, yeah, you can decide on which test to pick it up. Once you create a new test, when I talk about understanding the components, means that what are the other supporting components of a test? Certainly, we do have assisting environment. Then obviously, environment includes a lot of other things to be supported as a part of the test to run it. So obviously, the, some simple components would be uh, like your creation of test. Within that, you have your script, you got your action, you got your uh, data table, also the uh, scripting uh, from an external source like libraries, uh, the object repositories. So these, these all comes in hands-on right from the, base, uh, the previous tutorial, which I've already spoken about. So here we'll be looking at in practical, like how does it work. Verifying a test is just making sure uh, when you talk about automation, you do make sure that your scripts are in line with the requirement or the one which you wanted to execute. So making sure that you have done a dry run, uh, debugging, and so on. So just make sure that your test is up to the mark, where you are not missing anything as a part of the execution. Because we, we do not consider to uh, come back or stop during the execution. Rather, we prefer to evaluate our test cases or test scripts before we can get into the execution because your execution time is quite important. So we take some necessary precautionary steps. Executing a test, the, cost, the most simplest thing in this uh, 
tutorial is that just you click on the run and the application of the script will interact with the application and execute the written test script and uh, once the script execution stops then the next thing would be understanding how to view the results on the window so that will pop up in a new different window and you can very well see what are the different details for the execution done. So similarly, uh, we'll be looking at all these options today. Um, without wasting more time of yours, let's move into the uh, hands-on practice and understanding the, uh, the navigational panel in details. All right, so let's uh, begin with it. Uh, there's a shortcut uh, which is created once you install uh, Unified Functional Testing. So on the screen, uh, what you would see is uh, a shortcut being created for Unified Functional Testing. And uh, you can just double click on that. The installation is a quite simple process and easy to follow. Uh, by default, when you install the trial version, you get a 60 days trial period and you can just click on continue so you really don't have to worry about the licenses if you are practicing at home uh, if you are using professional obviously you'll be having either the concurrent or the seat license installed on your machine that is the official package all right so there will be this is what we were talking about the startup window and where we have the add-ins so if you see by default uh, all or most of the add-ins are selected so uh, you need to take care of what add-ins are required. So as I just uh, gave you the input on what is add-in, uh, these are the set of protocols which create your environment on the type of application you want to test. So for example, it is a Delphi-based application, Flexways, uh, Java, mobile, or whatever. So if in case it is a multiple protocol based or multiple add-ins are required, you can just select multiple like this and you can get going with the execution further. So as of now, the new application, what we have is uh, as a WPF based Silverlight. So one thing is that and second is ActiveX, which is a common add-in, which I'll be talking in more detail with these specific things in the next tutorial. For now, you can just uh, select ActiveX and uh, the WPF and Silverlight to go ahead and show OK. So uh, there is a small pop up here. OK, yes. Good. So now the reason why I have selected those two add in is specifically for the application what we will be using uh, to understand the entire UFT session. So we do get a dummy application with unified functional testing called as a flight application. You can just allow it once for all. And uh, based on that, uh, we will be conducting the test. And uh, that's what uh, the other option would be to go ahead. You can also go ahead with any live application like Gmail or Facebook or any such application what you know to work on UFT. But it's just an option where we get a domain application to work with. All right, so as soon as this uh, window gets launched, uh, we uh, look at uh, the very welcome page. We call it as start page in UFT. And uh, the quick navigation to understand this is uh, about uh, the welcome page where you can click, click on the new button to create a new test or open an existing test. Also about uh, moving towards on the right side, what's new in UFT, like what's new in this particular version. So again, as I mentioned earlier that this uh, panel will help you to understand a lot of things which are not required to be uh, drilled down in the internet. Uh, so you can just go through and see what are the types of licenses are available, what's new. You can click on the tell me more option to look at more detail and put on that. Redesign record and run settings. What's new about that? We will be looking on more details when we get into the software. And UFT's online help has been improved a lot where you can talk about uh, everything in more detail, like uh, if you have any query and understanding. But when you look at the bottom, these are the different types of tests which can be created, like GUI test. And for each type of test, we have specific forums. Now, these forums are including uh, 
different experts from the worldwide who can answer your queries. So we do have GUI testing forum, API testing forum, business testing forum, and so on. Similarly, future of testing blog. So there are people who are writing a lot of information about updates on UFT or automation and so on. Uh, UFT Help Center is here. There are also product movies. So instead of like how you visit the YouTube tutorials, you can also look into the product movies here, which will help you to understand how uh, UFT options work in a simple way. If you are a licensed user of UFT, HP can come back on or Microsoft or Microfocus can help you with uh, support on that. Also, UFT knowledge page, which will tell you about what exactly is UFT comprising of and what does it include altogether. There's also a data pane at the bottom, which is called as the task pane. You have got output, active screen, and data, which will be learning slowly as we proceed ahead. On the top, we have the menu bar, which is having little option as of now, but as we pick up a new test, we will see a lot more options in the menu bar, as well as the toolbar. On the left, we have something called as a solution explorer, and uh, there's also called as a toolbox. So these things will also assist you with you create a test with all the required inputs, what you are utilizing. So without delaying further, let's create a new test. All you have to do is click on the new and uh, pick up the GUI test that as we are beginning up with the GUI test creation here. So just select uh, GUI test and click on create. So this will create a new test for you in uh, unified functional testing and uh, does create all those components what we were talking about so as soon as you create a new test you will be um, getting a canvas which is called as an action action is a place in uft where or in test of uft where you write your script following that you would also get a local object repository which is the memory. If you remember the very first session, I spoke about the object repository, which is the interface between the tool and the application. Following that, you also get a data sheet, which is called as a local action sheet by default. And uh, you can pass data from there for the automation script. So as soon as you come to this window, you will see two more tabs added up to your navigation. One is GUI test one, and there's another one which is called as action one. So you can just click on action one and you will get a canvas where you can write your script. So right now we are not talking about uh, any particular script specifically. So we'll be just uh, looking at how do we create a basic and simple test. In the following tutorial, uh, we will be talking more on like uh, understanding how do we prepare the script. So all you need to do is these all steps to get started with the UFT and uh, once you are here, you are all good to go ahead with preparing your script. So to prepare your script, we just either use this option called as recording, which will allow you to record your test script on a particular application. Or you can also go ahead with writing your own scripts, uh, something similar like, you know, dialog, open the box and uh, and just mention the name of the object so on and following the content like this so this is just a demonstration like you know just giving an idea that how this script this is not a real script so i'll be talking more precisely on how does the real script look like so this is all for today's uh, tutorial on this particular exercise the next uh, series the uh, next uh, episode will include uh, uh, the preparation of the test which is the next topic where you will be talking about the recording and also the replaying of the script. So that's the next uh, segment. So stay tuned for more details on this. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed the video and definitely learned something new today. Do comment your queries, doubts, clarifications below so that I can get back to you with the responses on the same. Do not forget to subscribe the channel. Also hit the bell icon to get notified on the latest videos from the channel.